Hey everybody, I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts and I want to show you what I got in the mail because it's almost birthday month. Oh, hold on. We have a wild cord that's going to screw everything up. Hold on. Oh, okay. Let's see if it'll hold. Okay, so I'm a little concerned because look what shape this was. When I got it, it is a mess. I haven't opened this. This is actually how it came. So I'm a little concerned. Hmm. Okay, let's open it and see. So, you may be asking, Carol, what does this have to do with birthday month? Well, this year for birthday month, which starts in November, my thinking is what I'd like to do. Hmm, I think it's supposed to have had two little spin catcher things. Mm. Maybe not. I think it'll be fine. Um, so this is a Heidi Swap uh, Memory Dex. Uh, yeah, Memory Dex. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Let's have some coffee. Watered down coffee. Look, um, and here's my thinking. So I'm thinking that I will do a grand prize at the end of birthday month. And in order to enter, you will make a memory Dex card. Put your info on the back, your email and your um, P.O. box or mailing address. I'm not going to share this information with anybody, I promise. But through the year, if I get, you know, a dozen or whatever, throughout the year, I will pull one of these once a month for a prize. Doesn't that sound like fun? And it won't have to be on your birthday or anything. I'll just pull one. I'll just, I'll just pull, I'll just pick a letter or I don't know. We'll figure out how to do it later, but. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. All of a sudden I got the yawns. So, the card would need to be, it would be, need to be able to fit on this. Let's see if this has the dimensions. Uh, la la la. No. I don't know if it fits a five by seven or not, but I will give those details out later. And um, I may or may not open a PO box. I'm not sure. So what do you think? Doesn't that sound like fun? So at the end of November, I'll pull one of the cards and then each month after that, or however many cards I have, or however that's gonna work. I mean, if I have six cards, then I'll pull one every other month. If I have 20, then I don't know. I'll just randomly pull them. We'll figure it out. But that was what I was thinking. Doesn't that sound like fun? So basically, I'll be celebrating birthday month all year long. <laughs> Okay, so that is um, what I'm thinking for birthday month. Now, I'm not going to, I'm cheating, totally, and I admit it. So, I don't know what the fine for that is. Tammy, you decide whatever the fine is, I'll pay it. This is not going to be a video for the Edith Holden because I have already done up to video seven. And I haven't even done my cover yet. And I'm not done with the book. But 
I want to show you what I have done. I've been up in my room today, you guys. One, two, three hours. That's the most I've been in my room for three months. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. So if you smash this and sit on it and hold it with a vise, it isn't an alligator book. But it's going to be by the time I'm done. If you don't squeeze it, it's like that. So it's going to have to have a good closure. Um, I put a little pocket in here, but I could not cover that up. I had planned to, but I couldn't. <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> I'm not sure about this page. I may still, or no, it's this one. I may cover that. I don't know. I made a little tag, and they've all got this uh, beautiful parchment paper on the back. I just love it. So now I'm really trying to incorporate the, in, yeah, incorporate Edith Holden. Uh, this is her book, after all. It's a celebration of her work. And I want to make sure that she's showcased. And um, so before I get off track, I wanted to get started putting Edith Holden in there. And I, I'm, honestly, I'm having trouble using the Edith Holden stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, I only have one of these books. What is, it's going to be gone. Yeah, you know what it is. It's going to be gone. And that's fine. Some of this glue's still wet. I think I need a little something, something right there. I'm not going to glue it right now because I'm smashing the book. And sure as heck, if I put something, uh, too much glue in there, I'll glue the pages together. I love this. I just think it turned out so cute. I really like this. I like it. Writing space. Little card. I finished off this CD tag. Put a little card inside. This one's got a card. Oh my gosh, is that all I've gotten done in three hours? <laughs> did you guys see this? Oh no, yeah, you did. I don't have the card done for that. Okay, so... Apparently, I didn't get as much done as I thought. Yikes. Oh, yes, I did. Wait. Hold the phone here, Mabel. Um, I did this page. It's just a base page, but... And then these, I'm not sure. I don't know. I did put something down there, but it's still going to be decorated. And what else did I do? I think that's it. Well, I've been up here for three hours. What the hell have I done? I don't know, but I've been having fun. So, Tammy's done with hers. She did two books. Tammy, I don't know how you got the oomph to fussy cut. I have been fussy cutting, and it's, it's I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I do like the way this turned out. So, this is where I'm at so far. My, oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. Hold on, hold on, I forgot to grab it. It's right here. couple weeks ago, I went over to Dreams times three, or Dreams 71 times three. Oh, shoot, girl, I can't remember your channel name. Oh, can't remember. She was having a D-stash, and look what I picked up. I think this is perfect for this cover. I'm, but I'm not sure how I'm going to use it. Look at that. I just think it's gorgeous. I just think it's gorgeous. 
What I'm thinking is that I will let the red show. I don't know. Because there's this beautiful red here, I think it would go. And I don't want to wrap it because I've already got stuff in there. So, yeah, I'm thinking that that's what I want to do. Maybe even just inset just a little bit. Let's see what that would look like. See, wouldn't that be pretty? What I was thinking is cutting it, you know, small, sewing it, and then putting a little bit of batting in there. And then taking the spine and making a little pad with some batting, maybe even with some red or green ticking, and then doing the back here. And then it would, it would soften the book. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Is this beautiful? Oh, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's like upholstery fabric. It will wear like iron. And I, I just fell in love with it. And all of this fabric was $5. I mean, you can't go wrong. And I think it's vintage. I don't know. It may not be. It may just you know, be used, or I mean, scrap, whatever. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. So I have video eight and video nine that I'm saving um, to do a little of the last bit of work. And then 10, we're going to do our flip throughs and giveaways. And um, Tammy has just been a freaking rock star. I don't feel like I've pulled my weight like I wanted to in this collaboration. I just have, just, my health is just holding me back, guys. But, um, that, I think that's changing. I think, I think. Um, they have changed my medications and lightened up on some of the ones that are holding me back. So, uh, I, I hope. My husband and I both think that my energy level is getting a little bit better. Oh, I hope so. Hope so. But around here, what we say is, I'm not blind, and I haven't had a stroke. So I can put up with anything, actually. So see, I've got some pockets to fill and stuff to do. One, two, three. So it is going to be a Gator Journal if I'm not careful. I'm going to have to really be careful about what I put in. Oh, sounds like my husband's home. He went on a little motorcycle ride today. I can hear the dogs greeting him. So I'm not going to count this as an Edith Holden video, so I'm not going to give you a word. But I realize that's cheating, and I don't even care. Yeah, I, I love the size of this book. It's great. So what do you think about my idea for a birthday? So starting November 1, whoever wants to to have a card in here for me to draw throughout the year would send me a card that I can put on here. What's the measurements? Let's just, let's just look. La la la. Where's my, I have a little, uh, um, So it would need to fit inside here. So it would need to be um, probably four. I'm thinking four because, you know, you, that doesn't give you much wiggle room. So let's say 
Yeah, it's got to be able to spin. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a card and see. Because the bottom down here is almost four and a half. So if you get, did four and a quarter, it would probably spin. As long as it lifted up above this. Right? And then it would need to be... Hmm. Looks like four and a half by four and a half. But don't quote me. I need to figure that out. There are some dimensions of what cards fit in that, so I'll do that. Okay, that was just a quick video so that I could tell you about birthday month because I've been excited. I've been looking for a used one of those. I really didn't want pink. I wanted white. Um, but this one was on sale maybe because the box was torn, which I'm fine with that. I don't care. Um, and I wanted to sneak peek, show you the book and the fabric. Tell me what you think about the fabric. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. It's been a great Sunday for me. I still have a little bit of energy. Can you believe it? Just a tiny bit. I told my husband I'd cook wings, so I gotta go cut them and get them all dried up and um, get the oil ready and stuff. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Go check out all the other videos that are doing Edith Holden. Um, Dahlia is doing great things, and, well, everybody has. If you just put in that, you'll find Angela at Dogwood Paper Arts, Mixed Media Minnesota, Shannon's did one, has done one, I should say, Tammy Van Antwerp, Dahlia at uh, Mandalay Cards and More. I think that's it, and me. I think there's five of us. All right, guys, let's all take care of each other. Bye.